That's County Talk. We have just beat Halifax 2-1 at their place uh, in the death. Fantastic result for Notts. I think we've just got to keep that winning mentality. You know, a game where there was a lot of speculation if it was even going to go ahead. And, you know, it was said on Twitter, um, if the game didn't go ahead today, it would have had to have been on Tuesday, which would have mean pushing Dover back. But obviously that didn't happen, so I'm not going to go into that too much. Um, but, yeah, we've been professional on the day. Like, fair play to the supporters that went today because there was so much speculation around the game actually going ahead. Pitch inspection at half eight, which was then pushed on to one o'clock because, you know, of the weather that was down there. There was a lot of rain forecast. Uh, the one o'clock one came in and obviously the game goes ahead. So credit to those nearly 300 Knots fans that travelled. Uh, fantastic. Sang us home at the end as well. You could hear it over the radio. Fantastic. Fantastic support. It has been all season. So if you went today, pat yourself on the backs. Fantastic from, from yourselves. But onto the game. Um, you know, a game that I feel like we controlled um, really well. But it's also one of those games where it's not got that league intensity, so you can't really take too much from it. But we're keeping that we're keeping that winning ticking over, and that's a good habit to get in winning games. Uh, against a side that are above us in the league, doing well. Uh, they beat us at their place already this season. So, yeah, professional way to do it when you look at the changes that have gone in. It's good to see some players in there like Rawlinson, like Dion, that haven't had loads of game time. Um, you know, Rawlinson clears one off the line at the end of the game, which is great for him. It's the sort of things that he loves and, you know, he lives for as a football player. So uh, credit to him for that. And Dion, he, he's in on the first goal, obviously takes a shot, which deflects out, goes over to Ruben and Ruben puts it away. So uh, credit to the players that have come in today because they're, they're back up to level, you know. <clears throat> and this was the perfect game for that, to get those sort of players that may be coming back from injury, uh, coming back from illness or whatever it may be. You know, we've got them in and we've given some game time a lot of them getting 90 minutes which will which do in the world of good um Cairo gets a goal which again will do him the world of good you know a player that's going to be I feel a little bit low on confidence because he's, he's he's falling down the pecking order in terms of uh attacking players obviously everyone was sort of thinking Eli Sam was at the bottom of the pecking order but he's, he's flipped that on the head really I think he's he's been brilliant Eli Sam has but Cairo gets his goal give him a lot of confidence now um and it's just it's just good to see all of our attacking players sort of firing. Um, I know he's had a bit of a sticky game. It's not been the best game for him. Nothing's really stuck for him. But, you know, he's got a goal at the end, which essentially has put us through to the quarterfinals. So you can't complain about that. You know, it's one, one step closer to Wembley, which, you know, it's massive for Knox, really. It would be great if we could win this trophy. And we've been really professional, I feel like, with the way that we're set up for the games and, and the mentality going into these games. Because it's easy to sort of put them on the back burner and not take it as seriously as the league because the league is important. But like I've already said in this video, we just need to keep winning and winning and winning and then all all these good things will come. Um, if you did go today, like I've already said, brilliant from you. Um, yeah, we are going to Dover on Tuesday. We're making the long journey down there. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed that it is still on. Uh, we will be doing a vlog for that. So keep an eye out for that. We'll somehow try and fit in some sort of food review like we did for the Barnet vlog. Um, if you do like this video, like the video and comment if you went to the game, let us know how it was. Uh, and let me know what you think about the, the FA Trophy as well in the comment section. Thanks for watching guys.